get the answers to every question surrounding O.J. Simpson as we track down the clues to unravel this murder mystery. It indicates malicious behavior with intent to cover up. That's murder. Then, a current affair is on the scene in Chicago for more details on the investigation. Says Simpson was not there when the driver went to pick him up, and that 15 minutes later, O.J. appeared looking sweaty and agitated. So, what does all this mean? Mike Watkiss is in Los Angeles with one of the top private eyes in America. Mike? Jim, this Simpson murder mystery really seems to have more twists and turns than an Agatha Christie novel. And for every one answer, there seems to be ten questions. So we thought it would be helpful, enlightening, to bring on board a man whose job it is to uncover the truth, a private investigator, a gumshoe, to help address some of the questions that are on the lips of all America. He is renowned Los Angeles PI, Marcus Joseph, a man who has spent much of his long career handling some of the most difficult and high profile investigations in this city. A man who teaches others how to be private investigators our first stop, the scene of the crime. Nicole Simpson's townhouse on L.A.'s Bundy Drive, where crowds of the grieving and the curious continue to keep a vigil almost 24 hours a day. This was not a mugger. This was not an assassin. This was not a Manson family member. This was not a gang member. Why do you say that? But cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. This crime scene indicates to me it was a spontaneous fit of rage with really very little concern about discovery. Also, someone who felt comfortable in not getting caught, because he knows, he or she knows the area. Does this, from what you've seen of that crime, does this fit the classic crime of passion scenario? Precisely, precisely. And while Marcus Joseph emphasizes these are only his educated opinions, and that he has no independent knowledge of O.J. Simpson's innocence or guilt, he says, some elements of this crime are easy to read. I feel, looking at this particular scene, based upon where I've seen the bodies being recovered, that this area right in here would provide an ideal hiding place for someone who was going to be uh, perhaps confronting someone. Or even better still, on the inside, if you had access, such as a key, or if you were willing to climb one of these gates. Everybody wonders. They say that this kid, apparently, from the, the wounds on his body, he put up a serious fight. Young Goldman put up a serious fight. We're, you're, as you noted, there are neighbors right across the street's very busy. There's neighbors right here. There's neighbors right there. Why didn't anybody hear this fight? Because I don't believe it occurred as a confrontation. It occurred as attack, as an attack. It's not unusual for murder victims not to scream out unless they had ample warning. And this crime indicates that someone was ambushed. And Marcus also believes the victims were attacked separately, perhaps minutes apart. Mr. Goldman, unfortunately, died first. And then Miss Simpson came to the door and was immediately attacked. And from his analysis of the evidence, the bottom line, according to private investigator Marcus Joseph, is... Whoever committed this crime had an intimate relationship with either of the victims and was in a state of psychological rage at the time. Our next stop with the private investigator two miles away at the palatial home of O.J. Simpson. According to published reports, a bloody glove was found here. How damaging in your mind would that be? If, in fact, there is a bloody glove, uh, that would indicate to me premeditation on the part of the perpetrator of this crime. It would perhaps take it to a murder one charge, potentially with the death sentence involved. And with that eyebrow-raising realization, I asked this expert what may be going on now inside the Simpson home. What do you think the mindset and the feeling is in that home right now? I, I, horror, horror, disbelief, nightmarish horror for everyone involved. O.J. apparently, if, if the accusations and again the published reports are true, he left here and he made a quick exit down to LAX. Do you think he could have made it from here to LAX in, in the time frame we're talking about? Absolutely. No problem whatsoever. So our last stop of the evening, Los Angeles International Airport. It's in inconceivable to me, too, Mike, but it's inconceivable to me that anybody would ever commit that crime. So whether it's Mr. Simpson or anybody else, the sheer act itself denotes something that's far beyond our understanding. Thank you for your help. 
I'll say. Thanks, Mike.